Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a frequently asked question page in WordPress website in 2024. So we're diving into an essential aspect of user experience. So a frequently asked question page not only answers common queries, but also enhances navigation and engagement. So stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a user-friendly frequently asked question page for your WordPress sites. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, or to kick off our tutorial, we'll have to go and access your WordPress dashboard. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the URL section, type wordpress.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of their websites right away. Of course, if it's your first time, you'll find yourself on a page like this. So you can go to the top right corner to log in into your account if you have one or here on the middle, click on get started to create a new account under this WordPress your way or you can find get started at the top right corner also. If you don't know nothing about uh, WordPress, you can simply scroll down to read more information about this website and familiarize yourself with it. You'll be able to see even the prices with the features that comes with each price. You can pause the video and read this all by your own. And as you can see, you'll find a lot of other information that you may want to know. Other than that, once you are on the your dashboard, you will have, of course, to go and create a new page. And uh, of course, that's the page that we are gonna, going to put the frequently asked question on. So simply just go to this list panel and look for pages. As you can see, you'll find this right here. Just hover it and click on add a new page or instead click on pages and you will find an add a new page here at the top. So just go and click on that. Of course, if you have like some plugin like Elementor, you'll be able to edit with that if you want to. And let's just ignore that. Those are just some plugins. So your page will be something like that. Let me even close this because those are just plugins that I have. Let's close them. And yeah. So what we'll need to start with or is simply, of course, give your page a title, such frequently asked questions, and you are ready to start building. Like the title will be frequently asked questions, or you can simply type if a Q, which is frequently asked questions. Of course, you can begin by adding your frequently asked questions and the respondent answers. You can use clear and concise language and consider organizing questions into categories or sections for better readability. And you can use, of course, the default WordPress editor or employ a block editor for more flexibility. You can find as an example here, the top left corner an option, block inserter. Just go and click on that as an example, let's see question. So this is this comes with like uh, one of my plugins. So let's not use that. Of course, you can, as an example, go and download this plugin, which is Yoast SEO. As you can see, this is the plugin in here. If you want to use it, it gives you this frequently asked question if you want to use it. But let's even type answer as an example. So it seems like it's not there. So we'll have to enter it manually. Of course, you can go and, and create a list, something like details and examples. So let's just go and create the details and what should be about as an example. So we can make that as a frequently asked question. So as an example, is your, as an example, is your, I don't know, what should we ask? So, uh, or do you have, do you, offer as an example sorry so do you offer a free plan free plan as an example you can simply go in here and type the answer like a uh, yes sorry so yes we do have a free as an example sorry so a free plan to use you can even like uh, get a premium plan so plan with uh, 13 days free trial to test it out you can get it without the bank 
card as example. So this is going to be as example your frequently asked questions. Of course, it's going to be the first one. So people, what people going to see? So let's see here. And of course, we'll be able to preview it on desktop, tablets, or even mobile. Make sure to adapt things that it can be good for all the users. And of course, you can go and click on preview new tab. So people can see as example. Let's see. Let's just wait for the preview until okay. Maybe it's a problem. It's loading again. Let's just wait for it until it loads. Let me just go and open another one as an example. And meanwhile, of course, you can uh, go and add more questions like details. This one, you can look for other options as an example. Whatever you want, you can even type everything out by your own as just a simple text. So they say I'll have a problem. It seems like I'll not be able to preview it correctly. But if we go and click in here as an example, and yeah, it seems like we cannot preview it without this option. It's not working. It seems like we cannot preview it, but it's fine. Because people, when they will click on it, as you can see, they will have the answer opened. So it's going to be like a frequently asked questions option. If they click on it, they will open it. If they click anywhere else, it will be closed. As simple as that. Of course, you can go and click or add as many frequently asked questions as you can. You can add it with this detail because when people click on it, it will open. You can add it with, as I said, it's just a normal text. You can add it as a table if you want to. And... I don't know. So you can do you and make it however you like. Once you're satisfied with everything, make sure to enhance the visual appeal of your frequently uh, uh, asked question page, of course, by formatting and styling your content. Utilize a heading, uh, some bullet points, uh, other formatting opinion, uh, options Sorry, to make your frequently asked questions easy to scan. Consider even adding some images or icons like for more engaging layout also. And to create a user-friendly experience, consider using uh, accordion blocks. Uh, uh, sorry, accor accordion blocks. Of course, this accordion blocks will allow you or will allow users to click on the question to reveal the answer. Uh, keep the page, of course, neat and organized. Many themes like and block plugins offer accordion block options for like easy implementation. As an example, of course, if you don't want to like use uh, or start a page from the beginning. You can simply just go and look for themes. So click on appearance, click on themes, and look for frequently asked questions, example, uh, theme. And you can get that simply and start using it. If you want to, just copy a page of their pages and you can start to use it as simple as that, as you can see. So that's going to be it, of course, for me today. You've successfully learned how to add a frequently asked page to your WordPress website. Of course, a well-organized frequently asked question page enhances the user experience and provide valuable information to your audience. So if you have any questions or there's a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. So happy website building and I'll see you in the next video. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel for more head for tutorials like this one, and I'll see you around.